In a previous video, I talked about preparing for Teamless season. I shared everything that I was doing to get ready for the biggest event throughout the whole year. We will have two months straight of just Teamless season promos, new teams coming out every week, hundreds of new highly rated and expensive players being added to the game. And in this Teamless season preparation video, I highlighted what to buy, what to invest, and gave you a little insight of what's actually in my club being safe for this major event. But the biggest thing that you can do is save packs, and there were quite a few questions based on that video about the packs that I was saving. So in this video, we are going to be doing a deeper dive in everything that I'm doing with packs just for Teamless season. Before I do get into the video though, if you do enjoy the content I'm delivering here, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll be notified the second I push an upload. And if you are one of the first to watch the video, you'll also be one of the first to put what I'm telling you into action. But getting back into the video, as already previously mentioned, Teamless season is by far the biggest event throughout the year of Ultimate Team. Just imagine the hype and excitement of Team of the Year, but with it actually being every week for about two months. This is exactly what Teamless season is, and with it being my favorite event, I always like to prepare. And I've done this every single year for the past couple years. When Teamless season is announced and finally released, we will get a team that's based around a league, with all those players that's in that team having boosted overall ratings by about 5. This will take some of those very highly rated players within those leagues and boost them to be even higher rated and this does mean that they will be even more expensive. But we know with Teamless Season, as well as any promo event that EA does, when they are released to Ultimate Team, they will be available in packs. It might go without saying, but of course you want to be able to pack some of these players. Getting a good high rated 90 player could put millions of coins into your account, or even just really boost your team to put such a good player there that you can always depend on. So the whole point of what we're talking about is to increase your chances of actually getting one of these teamless season players when they are released. And the best way to do this is by saving your packs now to your club. Most players want instant gratification after their hard work. It doesn't matter if you play foot champions, division rivals, foot drafts, squad battles, or just go through SBCs. No matter how you get your packs, most players, when they are rewarded, will instantly open them. But if you can fight the urge to open any type of pack that you are rewarded with now and just save it until team of the season, you will be in a much better position. EA of course will be releasing new promos between now and Teamless Season, but none of these new promos will come even close to competing with the major event of Teamless Season itself. Yes, when you're rewarded with your packs, you can go and claim them straight away. And yes, there is a chance that you can get a special card within that pack, but the special cards that you're getting now will still not be anything compared to a special card during Teamless Season. And we're not even talking about you having to hold these packs for that long. At the end of April, beginning of May, this is when Teamless Season is normally released. This is the time schedule that we've had for many previous FIFAs and it hasn't changed over the years. My goal personally is to get at least 200 packs before this event. I don't care what these packs are, they can be tradable, untradable, they can be rare mega packs or even small two player packs. They don't even have to be gold packs. They can be silver packs as we do normally get silver teamless season players for the smaller leagues. My goal is to pack as many teamless seasons as possible without having to put a ridiculous amount of time, coins or real life money into the game during this event. So for the next month, I will be grinding out as many packs as possible. And the good thing is that with FIFA in recent years, it's been great to prepare for teamless season purely just because of the amount of rewards that you can get from the game in a number of different game modes. There will be an abundance of SBCs available to get packs. This is UEFA marquee matchups, normal marquee matchups, upgrade packs, player packs, player of the month, and the list will just carry on going on. My main focus out of everything though will be the marquee matchups and upgrade packs. I could also look at the league SBCs player of the month which do give good rewards but they are also very expensive and a big reward out of completing them is actually getting the player itself and in all honesty I'm not too bothered about the player. We also have squad battles that give out weekly rewards. The rewards aren't particularly amazing unless you hit a high rank but if you do have the time and you don't want to go through any online games this is a perfect way to start stacking up before team in the season. For those of you that do want to play online matches, you have Division Rivals. Division Rivals is fairly similar except you're now playing online. You still play games, get points and those points define the division you're in and your rewards. The higher the division and points, the better the rewards will be at the end of the week. And as these are online games, it does mean that the rewards that you're getting from Division Rivals is slightly better than Squad Battles. 
You also have the option of three different reward options, so you can pick whatever suits you best. For this scenario, as we are trying to grind as many packs as possible before the major event, it is a good idea just to go for the untradeable packs, as you will be getting double the amount compared to tradable. It does mean that when it does come round to team of the season, and if you do get lucky to pack a team of the season, you can't sell them. You can store them in your club and you can have them as part of your team. For those of you that are a lot better at the game and enjoy being competitive, you also have the weekend league. This is where you're going to be getting the best rewards, especially if you can push for those higher ranks. I would say with foot champions, your weekly rewards as generic gold packs can be useful, but do not save your monthly rewards for team of the season. They are linked to a specific month's inform card, so you might as well just open them as soon as you get them, instead of saving them because they're not actually going to give you team of the season players. The other game mode that you can go through is foot draft. Now with this one, I don't recommend using your own coins to enter this game mode, but if you are planning to buy FIFA points on ultimate team when team of the season is released, you could actually do it now. But instead of opening packs, you just keep going through foot draft. It costs 300 FIFA points to enter, but you can get packs worth a lot more than the initial investment. Between now and team of the season, just keep going through foot draft and keep collecting those packs. And finally, you have objectives. If you were just to go through previous game modes, just play FIFA Ultimate Team, you will get XP for your objectives and you will complete certain tasks. So with this, you don't actually have to go out your way to finish anything because you're actually just going to be doing it naturally. So over the next month, I will be forced myself to go through all of these different game modes. I can't stand foot champions, but I will spend some time playing through the weekend league just so I can get more rewards and more packs for team of the season. Most of my packs will be coming from SBCs as I will be throwing every player from my club into these different teams to get the reward. Now in that previous team of the season video, I did get asked the question of how many packs do you need? And there isn't actually a specific answer. Personally, I want to be pushing for 200 packs as I think that would keep me occupied for a few hours and hopefully I will be able to get one team of the season. But the more packs you have, the better. If I was to reach 200 packs before team of the season is released, I will just carry on going, push to 300, 400, 500 and so on. The pack store has no limit. In previous FIFAs, there have been a limit on how many packs you can scroll through. You can have a max of 99 packs there in front of you, but the store number will carry on going up as you keep on adding packs to your club. This means if you did have 200 packs, you will only see 99 on the store page, but 200 packs is the number above. When you open one of those packs, it doesn't go down to 98, it stays at 99, but your overall will go down to 199. This is just a limit within the game view, but everything is safe. The final thing to mention is that doing this doesn't guarantee you will get a team of the season. Unfortunately, everything is still based on chance. You can have hundreds of packs, open them all and get absolutely nothing. Whereas there will be other players out there that will just have one pack, open it and get lucky enough to get a high rated team of the season. This is unfortunate, but what we're doing here is just trying to increase the chances of being able to get a good pull. It's not guaranteed that you'll get anything, but there's a higher chance if you had over 100 packs compared to if you just saved one. This is exactly what we're doing here. I've been able to do this since FIFA 17 and since then I have been able to get a couple team of the seasons every single year just by saving all of my rewards from all of the different game modes. These team of the seasons would vary in ratings. Because I was just saving every single pack that I had, every single reward, I did get a variety of bronze team of the seasons, silver team of the seasons and gold team of the seasons, all of which were added to my club ready for me to use. And this is why I'm still carrying it on today and will continue to do so for future ultimate teams. But anyway, this is my plan for team of the season over the next month. No matter what game mode I play, no matter what the rewards I get for playing that game mode, everything is going to be stored into my club, saving those packs all the way up to team of the season. When team of the season is finally released, that's when I'm going to open up everything. Now me personally, I want to be building a Premier League squad. So therefore, I will be waiting for the Premier League team of the season. That way, I'm increasing my chances of getting Premier League players. But you can save it for any type of team of the season that you want. Maybe you're looking for Bundesliga or even La Liga. Just wait until that team is released and then open everything that you've managed to save up over the last month or so. And if you are lucky to go and pull one of these players, you could potentially be making hundreds of thousands or even push to millions of coins depending on the player. If you wait until the ultimate team of the season, you will be guaranteeing yourself to hit 1 million coins if you were to pack any of these types of players. And I'm sure some of you guys will be lucky enough to go and get some of these. But anyway guys, this is my plan for the next month. 
thank you very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going to see ya